Hey YouTube, it's ACU and today we have some really awesome updates to discuss in the world of jailbreaking, particularly where Pangu for iOS 9 through up to 9.0.2 is concerned, a revised iteration of it being version 1.1.0, a new update to Cydia, as well as a possible Mac adaptation of Pangu, iOS 9.1, the jailbreak patching firmware, and finally boot loops of death and how to escape them. <laughs> Okay, so we have a ton of things to discuss in this video. So let's get started first of all by talking about the jailbreak. Essentially, iOS 9.1 was recently released this week and it does close two major vulnerabilities exploited by Pangu to achieve an iOS 9 jailbreak, meaning you can no longer jailbreak. Once you update to iOS 9.1, you'll be locked out of jailbreaking until a new utility is released. However, as of recording this video, you can actually downgrade back to iOS 9.0.2, the latest firmware supported by Pangu. That window will not last forever and Apple will soon stop signing iOS 9.0.2, making restores to the firmware impossible. So I will have a few annotations on your screens now. The first of which will be my untethered Pangu jailbreak tutorial. Next, we have my video discussing iOS 9.1 as an update and how it affects jailbreaking. And finally, my downgrade tutorial for going back from 9.1 to 9.0.2. So definitely just click on whichever one applies to you if you have yet to jailbreak and you're interested in jailbreaking. Now, let's get into the updates. First of all, starting with Pangu version 1.1.0, and we're actually going to switch on over here to Pangu's official change log. But first, if you have yet to jailbreak and you're going to follow my untethered 9.0.2 tutorial, then just know that you will actually be using the latest version of Pangu. It has been updated with version 1.1.0, and it will continue to be updated as new iterations of the tool are pushed in the future as well. Also, I'm going to discuss how you can actually install the latest untether package that Pangu 1.1.0 delivers in just a second. So either stick with me or you can click on the annotation that should be on your screens now if you're on desktop to skip ahead to that segment. So up first, version 1.1.0 for Windows. Now it improves the success rate and the reliability of the jailbreak for 64-bit devices, so anything from the iPhone 5S and up. It also optimizes the backup process and improves the jailbreak speed, and also corrects an issue where if you had low disk space on Windows, it would cause the jailbreak to fail or not function correctly, and it fixes a bug that caused the jailbreak tool to crash due to abnormal network status. For the fourth improvement, it adds the option to re jailbreak for devices that were upgraded via iTunes but display that they're already jailbroken inside of Pangu, so a false positive. Finally, it fixes a bug that would cause the instrument function inside of Xcode to fail on jailbroken devices, so that one is mostly for developers. And quickly, before we actually get into the Pangu Untether update, let's talk about the Mac version. So as I mentioned in my last jailbreak update video, Pangu added this section to their changelog, Mac version 1.0.0 zero coming soon. Now that has been there for a while, that is nothing new. I know it started to go around recently as being new information, but again, remember as I discussed in my last jailbreak update, they've already had this on here. So they are definitely working on a Mac tool. They've confirmed that it is coming soon. And now that they have pushed version 1.1.0, chances are good that they're going to devote the most effort toward this new Mac utility, especially since iOS 9.1 is here and it does patch the jailbreak. Hopefully they can get it issued before Apple stop signing iOS 9.0.2 because that way Mac users could actually go back if they needed to. But if you're holding out on jailbreaking and you do have a Mac like I do, I definitely recommend either getting Windows set up inside of a virtual environment, I use Parallels for Mac, or what you can do is you can actually use Bootcamp, which is native for Macs, to install Windows 100% on your Mac and just boot straight into it and then jailbreak. Again, guys, it is really important that you do jailbreak before Apple stops signing iOS 9.0.2, because that way, if you do encounter any issues for whatever reason, at least you can go back. Let's talk about how to update if you've already jailbroken. So all you have to do is just open up Cydia and it should automatically grab the latest changes. But if it doesn't, just go to the changes tab down below at the bottom and tap refresh in the upper left-hand corner. Let's go ahead and just manually trigger that now 
and it will automatically go out to the repos that we have and it will pull back the latest updates here. So first let's talk about Pangu 9.0.x on Tether. Remember this is the package that corresponds to the Pangu jailbreak. It is installed by default. Definitely never uninstall this guys. But at any rate this is the corresponding update for version 1.1 or 1.1.0 of their Windows tool. And essentially when installing this it definitely improves the boot up process on 64-bit devices like the iPhone 6s Plus which I have right here. And it also corrects that issue inside of Xcode. So some very minor changes but overall if you do have a 64-bit device like the iPhone 6s for instance then it will definitely improve the boot up process because some users were experiencing slight issues with that. So I'm actually going to install it really quick just to show you guys. So all you have to do is just tap into it followed by upgrade and then confirm that and it will automatically go out download it and then replace it with the latest version. And as you can see we now have the option to reboot our device so let's just go ahead and tap that and I'm going to skip until when the iPhone 6s is back up. Okay so here we are at the lock screen now. I'm actually just going to enter my password and I'll be right back. All right and here we go we are fully rebooted with the latest Pangu untether package installed so now you no longer have to read jailbreak. This is a great way to update if you've already jailbroken again just by installing whatever you see inside of Cydia and it's always best just to install Cydia as well as any updates to the Pangu untether package separately like what I just did there so by manually going into that Pangu update installing that and now we can actually install this Cydia update that we have as well. I'm going to briefly talk about this because this is actually a rather important update to Cydia so essentially when iOS 9 was issued so for version 1.1.24 it actually changes the way that the applications directory is stashed. So this is a pretty big deal because in version 1.1.25, Sorik, the creator of Cydia, actually went back and reverted how stashing was actually handled for applications. So as you can see, he goes into great length here for those of you who are at all interested in this latest change, but just know that it should improve the overall stability of your device as well as apps if you were, for whatever reason, experiencing issues. Now in version 1.1.26, which was just recently released, he made further updates and changes to the application stashing. So as you can see, he also goes into this one in great lengths as well. But he's not done yet. There will likely be more Cydia updates to come in the very near future because there are still some slight issues that going back to this stashing method has actually caused for users. Chances are good though, you won't experience any and it will probably make your device even more stable than it already is if you were experiencing issues with Cydia or select applications. So in order to install this, just like with the Pangu Untether package, all we have to do is just tap into it followed by modify and then upgrade. Of course we can install it just by tapping on upgrade but like I said I definitely recommend installing these type of updates by themselves independently from one another so let's go ahead and tap on upgrade and you'll actually notice Cydia will crash here in just a second toward the end before it finishes that's intentional that's perfectly fine what we have to do once it crashes is then reopen it because it will actually have to prepare the file system again so let's go ahead and tap on Cydia and you'll notice here that we do have this preparing file system screen that's because of the changes made to how Cydia stashes the application, so this could take some time. Definitely do not close out of it, do not power off your device, just leave it at this screen and eventually it will respring. So as you can see here, we are at the Apple logo. The iPhone 6s did respring successfully, so we're good to go. We have installed the latest version of Cydia. Let's just go ahead and scroll down to the bottom quickly and down below, you will notice that again, we are on Cydia 1.1.26, the latest version. Just note that there will likely be other updates to Cydia to come in the very near future. All right, and finally, the very last thing I want to discuss in this video is how to exit boot loops of death, which is what they're being referred to as online right now. Essentially, it's just when you install anything that is incompatible with your device or its specific firmware, so in this case, iOS 9 through 9.0.2, that essentially causes it to enter a boot loop. It's not a true boot loop, and we should be able to exit it pretty simply, though. So I'm actually going to trigger it manually by installing a package called No Please Recovery, which just so happens to be incompatible with the iPhone 6S Plus running iOS 9.0.2. I actually mentioned this tweak in discussing how to avoid updating to iOS 9.1 because it prevents your device from entering recovery mode. However, the latest update for it does cause select issues for some users based on their device as well as its firmware. So if you installed this tweak or any other tweak that causes your device to enter a boot loop, I'm going to show you how to exit it. So let's just go 
ahead and wait for it to install. So let's go ahead and tap on restart springboard. And I'm just going to, again, show you guys for a second that we are still on this Apple logo. So it is very simple to exit this. And if Cydia is also crashing, meaning when you go to open up Cydia, if it constantly just closes immediately, this is another way to fix it. So if that's the case for you and you have issues with Cydia, just turn off your device. So hold down the power button, slide to power off. And once it's fully down, just hold the volume up key and then power it on and continue holding the volume up until it fully reboots and then uninstall whatever is incompatible. However, if you're experiencing something like this, again, a bootleg of death it's slightly different so what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to hold down two buttons and we need to hold them down at exactly the same time so first of all the home button as well as the power button until the Apple logo disappears then as soon as it does you're going to let go of the home button and then start pressing the volume up button and continue holding the power button until you see the Apple logo again and as soon as you do let go of the power button and continue holding volume up so let me take this dock off really quick and I'm I'm going to run you guys through it. So again, what we have to do is hold down the home button as well as the power button until we see this Apple logo disappear. Then as soon as we do, let go of the home button and start holding the volume up and then release the power button as soon as you see the Apple logo again. So now that we have the Apple logo, continue holding volume up. That's the only thing I am holding right now. And you may not get it the first time. If you don't, that's fine. You can retry it. Remember, it is just that sequence and it will actually take a little bit for your device to boot up definitely longer than it normally does. So let's just go ahead and wait for that. All right, so here we are at the lock screen, provided you follow that sequence exactly and your issues are caused by an incompatible tweak, then you should be good to go. So I'm going to enter my password really quick. All right, and here we are. So now what we can do is just launch up Cydia and we need to uninstall whatever caused the issue initially. In this case, no please recovery. So I'm just going to go into installed and we're going to go to no. So let's go ahead and navigate to N, tap into it, no please recovery. And then we need to fully remove it. So remove and then confirm it. And then you should be asked to respring or reboot your device. So in this case, let's just tap on respring. And once you do, you will actually have to reboot your device for another time because none of the tweaks will actually function. What we did was we essentially told Cydia Substrate that we needed to disable all tweaks so that way it would just boot up as though it were a stock device. And in order to get Substrate to reload those tweaks, what we have to do is reboot for a final time. And then once we come back up, we should be good to go with all of our tweaks. So I'm just going to turn it off turn it on, and then we're going to wait for the reboot and I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, our tweaks are now loading. So I do have this lock screen tweak installed here. So what we're going to do is just input the password here for a final time. All right, guys, and here we go. That pretty much concludes this video. It is cram packed with tons of useful information. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And if you wanna be updated more often, such as when I release new videos similar to this one, especially a tutorial for when the new Mac utility is released, just be sure to click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to. You can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Remember, I will keep you guys completely notified on everything related to jailbreaking. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.